what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A U.S. lawmaker urged Donald Trump, your president, to stop blaming Barack Obama for failed policies and start taking responsibility as the leader of the United States of America. Democratic Representative Ted Lieu of California tweeted a message for Trump after Trump blamed former President Barack Obama for a chemical attack in Syria. Dear real Donald Trump, remember when you launched cruise missiles at a largely empty field in Syria? That unconstitutional act didn't do very much, Lou tweeted. Remember when you said last week that the U.S. is leaving Syria in six months? So what is your plan? You're the president now, remember? Lou went after Trump a day after dozens of people were killed and hundreds were injured in a chemical attack Saturday in Syria. So why would Donald Trump stop blaming Barack Obama? I mean, it worked so good for his base. His base loved to finger point, blame everybody else. You know, the trip part about it is that they love to talk about how everybody else whines while they're whining. I mean, they are some whining ass people. That's all they do. And they love to talk about how everybody else is looking for free stuff while they collect free stuff. It's amazing, right? The hypocrisy. How is Donald Trump and the Republicans doing all of this winning but still blaming Barack Obama? Something is not adding up. It's kind of like blaming your girlfriend's old boyfriend because you can't get it up. Think about what I'm saying. You can't get off. You know why? Because you know, he wore out. He did it too much. He was too good. Now, I can't live up to the standard. He raised the bar way too high. Whatever happened to Trump's line, I alone can fix it. I'm going to fix it. I can fix it. I'm the world's greatest negotiator. I'm the world's great. What has he negotiated? Nothing. Nothing. Every negotiation he enters breaks down. The dude is a con artist. That's all he is. Trump plans to move America to the Holy Land, Alabama. If Alabama is not big enough, he's probably going to try to figure out a way to bridge Alabama to Mississippi. Try to bridge it with Mississippi. That's your president, y'all. Remember that? Well, let's give him a chance. Let me tell you something, man. Whatever y'all do in 2020, please just vote for a functional candidate. Just somebody functional. I'll leave y'all with the comment that SNL rhetorically made last night. If President Barack Obama is no longer the president, can he still be impeached? No more talk. What the mate is talking about?